Now, this was way more difficult than I thought to pick between the two and one. Because I have two guys who played in, on Thursday. So it's easy. It's uh, easy. You're, you're either a Panathinaikos or Olympiakos <laughs> fan. I mean, that <laughs> your <laughs> answer will decide. Come on, man. Okay, I'll put it this way. <laughs> if we're looking at the money and the sort of... how uh, is it worth the, the Yeah, the, the <laughs> money impact ratio... Uh, Kendrick Nunn is obviously the more uh, the the more expensive player here. He has had a good imp- like he's been scoring fourteen point four points or so. He's been really scoring. He, he was scoring in that last game even uh, quite well. Those three pointers, everything. He's he's able to create for 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 the team uh, a little bit. But I think his problem is he's scoring. Uh, he's uh, averaging three assists and three turnovers. In the last game, he had seven turnovers. I think he's just adjusting still. He's kind of looking at the refs a lot. I, I, I notice uh, because of the contact, uh, maybe he's not used to that European contact yet, although it's been a while. But he has a, had a good impact overall. I think he has the potential to become one of these guys in the top five we're talking about when it comes to guards in the EuroLeague. Uh, but at the moment, he's still uh, struggling with the turnovers, and that's why I'm going to put him at two. Uh, I mean, he's scoring 14, wow. 14 points, three assists, but his uh, PIR is nine. PIR is overrated. I know you're, you're going to say hell. that. I know you're going to say that. No, he is good. He's great. But there's a guy at number one that we we're going to talk about who's inspired this whole topic, right? Moses Wright came out of nowhere uh, from the NBA. He's like, the perfect guy they needed for matching, like what you were saying in the Q&A podcast, to match that energy of Lazor to, to give what uh, other centers cannot for Olympia cost. So for me, the price and what he's been able to do in so little few minutes and also in this short period of time, he's the talk of the town. For me, is the number one in-season signing. And... Now I let you argue against my picks if you want, but I think that's fair enough. First of all, uh, Moses Wright is great. Love the addition for Olympia Kos. Hell, I, I even put up the numbers right now as you were t- uh, as you were speaking. Moses Wright actually has the best positive impact on Olympia Kos team. Mm. Like with him on the court and when he's not, the difference is plus twenty points per one hundred possessions. He's the best in Olympia cause. If you look at Panathinaikos, Kendrick Nunn is the worst impact guy on that team. But despite what you said, despite these, these stats, you know, on and off ratings, Kendrick Nunn is so important to that Panathinaikos team. I'm never, you know, I'm not putting a guy who's creating everything for himself, who gets a bucket when Panathinaikos uh, needs one, you know, over Moses Wright, who heavily depends on others creating shots for him. I know he had a couple of nice dunks against Matias Lasor in the derby. Uh, yes, Kendrick Nunn could be more efficient, but uh, he's so important. He's been one of the main reasons Panathinaikos are actually winning. And right now they're fighting for that home court advantage. For me, Kendrick Nunn is for sure, for sure number one. But, but now imagine... imagine- Okay, well, it's it's hard to compare because they're both good for for each team. Um, but if they didn't have Moses Wright right now and Milutinov is out, who's who's giving more? Mustafa like, Fall is playing for uh, 30, 35 minutes. They have Vili Petrushev. They would be just fine. Like Olympiakos, where, where Mustafa Fall was averaging like twelve points, seven rebounds, and five assists when when Milutinov was out. So he's great i think he adds a lot of versatility to that front court but uh, kendrick nunn is the first option in pantanaikos offense he's the bucket getter he has the ball in his hands so to me he's much more important with without him pow is much lower than olympia cost uh, without moses right i see why gitis picked moses right as the number one because with him i mean to me he was really important addition i don't see philip petrushev you know covering nikola milutinov five minutes five minutes all i need mustafa fall can play 35 for a couple of games for a couple of games but you have luke still out luke sigma is not (laughs) you don't have luke sigma i mean for five minutes of course you have bodies but to me, Moses Wright brought a different dynamics to Olympiakos team. And Kendrick Nunn didn't? They would be... Come on, let me finish the first part of Moses yeah. Wright. 
with his addition, Olympiakos won all six game, six games. As you mentioned, he actually had the second uh, biggest impact on Olympiakos since he arrived uh, to Piraeus because in the span of these six games, actually Thomas Walkup had the best net rating, I think. Um, and to me, he brought the, the dynamics that this team needed in you know, switching, having a mobile uh, center after Mustafa Fall, because to me, it's you know, excessive to have both Fall and Nikola Miltiv in, in a center position. And in my ideal Olympiakos roster, I would go with Fall, Moses Wright, and let's say the third center option, a, a role player that wouldn't take minutes from Fall, from, from Moses Wright. To me, Olympiakos, um, force themselves to play slower pace for basically 40 minutes with Fall and Milutinov covering uh, those minutes. And to me, Moses Wright was a fresh air that Olympiakos needed in the mid-season because they were really struggling. But I think that I would rank Kendrick num num number one because first of all, the reasons you mentioned, the way they he also changed and what he added to Panthenaikos offense. And also, he just has a you know, a bigger track record. We're talking about Moses Wright having his, you know, first impression on Olympiakos, first six mm -hmm. games, and sometimes it's easy, like in Oturu's case. That's true. It's easy to make this, you know, confusing first impression and to impress everyone. But the guy will be scouted, uh, but the guy ha he will have to deliver consistently. Then it will be, you know, possible to, to make a fair judgment if he's better, you know, addition, it, if he did a bigger boost for his team than Kendrick Nunn. At this point, I think that Kendrick Nunn, although his numbers aren't as efficient as we would like uh, to see, I think it was also impacted by his slow start in Panacos, mm -hmm. but he's improving uh, quite quick. And I think that we will see more matured uh, version of Kendrick Nunn in the remaining games of the season, including the playoffs. So it's, uh, I still have Kendrick Nunn, but I see how, let's say, recency bias thing kind of affected your ranking. And, you know, you, you have your points. Mo to me, Moses Wright was super important for Olympiakos. And perhaps the, the price is another thing that I exactly. was focusing on. Because yeah. Kendrick Nunn, if we trust those reports, he's getting 1.5 million. Moses Wright joined the team as, let's say, a role player of 500k uh, per, year, per year for this season. So it's a huge difference.